So what I've got here is a very special bird. It's a woodcock. Now these are prized amongst hunters, certainly shoots because it's a very difficult bird to capture because it's quite nippy, it zigzags as it evades and flies away and if you can take one of these it's certainly a badge of honour. Beautiful bird, I believe they are mainly the migrationary birds, I believe they're Russian or from Russia but look at the colouring and the pattern, really nice. Now on the actual wings itself these have been taken there's a, a little feather which sticks out, I can't remember the name of it but basically that, that feather is, is, is there I think it is where it stays yeah I can't remember what you call it but basically that feather there by pulling it out is a it shows and signifies that you've, you've actually took a woodcock and it's like a badge of honour also it used to be used for artwork years ago and I believe um, the history to it is that they reckon that the Mosaliza was painted with the feather of a woodcock. So, a very special bird, very proud and privileged and honoured really to be to be given one um, by a good friend to, to process. The traditional way of doing it is you would um, pluck it completely, take the wings off, obviously trim trim the legs and you'd cook it without gutting it. It's a, uh, a clean bird, so it, it screeches as it flies. So you'd leave the head on, probably pluck it to about there, and you'd cook it two minutes either side, and then I think six minutes in the oven, and that's that's it. It's complete. Then you do the insides. You, you'd use on on like a breaded. Um, toasted bread or something like that. That's traditionally how you do it. I'm not sure how I feel about this time in particular doing it, but I'll uh, endeavour to try and get as much as I can. But a fantastic bird, a little beak on it there. Then. So let's get to the uh, the crux of it. So again, there's not a lot of meat on this on the wing part of this bird, so. Going straight in there, find my usual pinch point, just take it off. Again, find my usual pinch point, it's already quite battered anyway, I think from the shoot. <coughs> Legs, I'm not going to mess, mess around this time. One, two, the head. I'm not going to cook it with the head on, so I'll just take that off. So that's pretty much the base bird. Plucking it, again I'm going to do my, my usual peel up and peel down. Now there's a bit of shot damage on this one. Very similar kind of colour into pigeon on the inside on the skin I mean doesn't take too long at all matted where it's wet. Maybe next time I'll try it the uh, traditional way but I'm not brave enough this time.
Yeah, it's definitely took some uh, took some incoming. It's pepper potted. Pulled even out was coming. Got a little bit of downy, but not not too much. Again, when I rinse it off and finish them off in the kitchen, I'll get any 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 feathers that are left. So that's pretty much it plucked. I'm going to give it a rinse off and capture any loose feathers which are still on there. So, <coughs> we're at the stage now to kind of just gut it out. Breastbone, entry point. Just nick that. Open it up. I'll just go with one finger. I don't know if I can get two in there. Just be careful going into these smaller birds because where the shots come in, you might have a bit of bone shatter and you could very easily stab yourself. 
So it's being very careful not to catch himself out. So they weren't lying. They are clean birds. Let's check inside there. Yeah, that's it all out. Heart, liver, intestines, gizzard, I think that is. Sure. Yeah, it is. God knows what it is. So yeah, the neck. Just come in underneath. the rest of them just peel the skin away there we go this is yeah, easy enough and I can just tuck that Tuck that under there, tuck the legs in, and then I've got a little little roasted bird. Obviously I have to clean up a little bit, give it a bit of a rinse, just get rid of all these little excess bits of feathers, but I will still give it a two, 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 and six minutes in, and give it a go. I'm not sure how I feel about eating the insides like that, but next time I may pay tribute and dinner for you. So that's a woodcock, no time at all. Meat wise, mm, probably slightly smaller than a partridge portion, probably a mouthful per breast, and the rest of it's probably another mouthful. But again, it's better than nothing, but very delicious by all accounts. Can't wait to cook it. So that's the, uh, the famous woodcock. Thanks for watching. Woodcock in the pan, oven on ready. Looking forward to this one. So that's the two minutes on each side done. As you can see. So, let's put this in the oven now for six minutes. There we go. Just sizzling away. Ready for resting.